morning. It's now 7.30 and it's Tuesday and I'm waking up at 5 a.m. every day for a week. It is freezing out. 27 degrees. Worth it though. I was supposed to start this video yesterday and I ended up sleeping through my alarm. But here I am today, I'm wanting to do this for a while. I know a lot of other people have done it and I know that there are a lot of studies out there that say that waking up early consistently increases productivity, overall mood, happiness. So I wanted to see if that was true. I also know that I personally am not a fan of winter and a big part of that is how much daylight there is in the day. But I'm not really being fair to myself when I wake up after sunset because I'm already missing that much daylight, whatever time it may be that I normally wake up. So, for the next seven days, I'm gonna be waking up at 5 a.m. every day. Yeah. I wanna like do different things every morning, like keep it interesting, like this morning I read. We'll see, we'll figure it out as we go. But I just wanna see what this does for me. I literally lost both of the chapsticks I brought back with me from school. Bought another one, lost that. So now I'm using like SPF chapstick. So now all I taste is summer and it's 40 degrees out. But I'm gonna use this as a time to update you guys on how I feel. I'm like tired, but like not that tired, which like makes sense because it's only day one. Like I haven't like adjusted to it yet. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go for a run. Before I go to bed tonight, I wanted to like start a way to like keep track of like how this goes, you know? So I'm gonna come up with like a list of like things and I'm gonna write them all on like a scale of one to 10. Like one is the worst and 10 is like the best. So this is what the criteria is gonna be. How easy it is to wake up, how tired I feel that day, my productivity level, and how well I sleep that night. Last night's sleep, I would literally give like maybe a four to 10. I was stressed, I was gonna miss my alarm. So I kept waking up like every hour and like checking the time. I'll do like an overall, I guess. Okay, waking up honestly wasn't that bad just because I like kept waking up throughout the night. So I'm gonna give waking up a seven out of 10. So like it wasn't that bad. How tired I felt, it wasn't anything like crazy out of the ordinary. So I'm gonna give it, honestly, it feels like average. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. Productivity, I felt like I got a lot done today, but also because it felt like it was like two days in one. Seven, I'll give it another seven out of 10. Overall, I'll give it like a six out of 10. That feels like a good, good average. The goal, 10 out of 10, right? But that being said, I'm going to bed. Good night. Good morning, it's day two. I didn't think through what I wanted to do today, and so I need to figure that out really quick. Most of my days are gonna look pretty similar. So I think from like this point on, I'm just gonna do like montages of my day, you know, so that way you like get the point. And if I have to update you on anything, I will. But it's 7.25 right now. And I'm gonna do something different than yesterday. I was just watching Eamon and Beck on YouTube. I used to watch them all the time when I was in like my sophomore and junior year of high school. And they have one of my favorite pancake recipes ever and it's vegan. I'm gonna make that for breakfast. Also, for those of you keeping up, I found my chapstick. It did go through the washing machine, but... Okay, I'm gonna do a tattoo reveal because, well, you've already seen it, but there's this like cover on it to like, keep it protected and I'm supposed to keep it on for five days and it's been five days. So I'm gonna take it off. I was supposed to take it off in the shower cause like water helps the like adhesive come off but I'm not taking a shower right now. And I don't feel like waiting. So I'm just gonna like pull it like a bandaid. Oh, it actually doesn't hurt at all. 
That came off so easy. Anyways, reveal. Okay. Okay, it's day two, well, the end of day two. I've realized that I need to rework some of the, like, the number system on here because, I don't know, I'm just gonna, whatever. I don't, you know, I need to rank my sleep from last night. It took me a little bit to fall asleep, but once I was asleep, I did pretty good. I think I only woke up once, but it was because I had, like, a weird dream. I don't remember what it was, I just remember it being weird. So I'll give my sleep a 7 out of 10 from last night. Also, I realized I should add my mood on here. Waking up, it was a little bit harder than yesterday, but it wasn't, like, insane. I would say it's average, so I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10. How tired I felt, I did feel pretty tired today, and I also fell asleep for an hour. I didn't mean to, but I did. So if one if one is really tired and 10 is not tired at all i'm gonna give it a four productivity a five out of ten i would say it was like average sleep i have to do that tomorrow because it's tonight's sleep mood i was in a good mood for like most of the morning and then when i got tired i got like kind of weird so if one is bad mood 10 is good mood i'd say my mood was like a seven overall today was definitely a little bit harder than yesterday and yesterday's overall was six out of ten so i'm gonna give today a five out of ten and I'm going to bed again. Day three, it's 5 a.m. And I have work today. So the thing that I do is gonna be get ready for work. Also last night, right before I fell asleep, Evermore fell off my wall and onto my head. Yeah. I'm leaving for work. Kinda got a busy day going on. Not really. I'm just going to work and then I'm gonna go for a run, do whatever. And then later tonight, something exciting is I'm going to melting pot with some of my coworkers. So that'll be yum as F. First things first, after work, I have to get gas. Okay, just got back from Melting Pot. I'll walk, those of you who have never been before, through it. So you go and it's four courses. You get your cheese fondue first. So we got spinach artichoke and then like the classic Alpine. Both really good. Then you do a little salad. I got one called the California that had like a raspberry glaze on it. It was so good. And I also tried some of the Caesar salad. And then you get your entree. So we had like some mushroom red wine broth. And then I got the vegetable like bowl thing and it just had like asparagus, onions, peppers, like vegetarian meatballs, a few other things. And I tried some of Sabian, like Sabian got like a one with like meat, like steak and stuff. I tried some of that, it was really good. And then you get your last one, which is the dessert, which was so good. Paige and I got the milk chocolate and peanut butter one. And then Sabian and Nathan had the dark chocolate and white chocolate one, both so good. Kind of expensive, but kind of worth it. I'm literally so full and I'm going home and we can do the little reflection section of the day. And yeah, it's the end of day three. Okay, first I have to do my sleep from last night. Bad, a six out of 10. Waking up, a seven out of 10. Tired feel, a seven out of 10. Productivity, an eight out of 10. Mood, I think a nine out of 10 for mood. And then overall, today's definitely been the best day by far. A seven out of 10, my highest overall yet. Okay, good night. Good morning. Happy day four. My sleep schedule was so weird last night. My thing that I'm gonna do this morning is I'm gonna work on crocheting more of that sweater. I finished the other sleeve, my sweater. Hold on, sweater reveal. Okay, now I'm gonna get on with my day. 
Happy end of day four. I know I didn't really film too much today. It's actually because I realized I was gonna be kind of busy. So I actually just made a completely separate vlog of my day. But like I just stole some clips from that to put in here for today. But I'm still here for our little reflection. So last night's sleep, it was awful. I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't fall asleep until like 1.30 in the morning. So I was running on three and a half hours of sleep all day, but I didn't nap. I'm going to give like a four out of 10. Anyway, waking up today, a seven out of 10. Tired feel, kind of a 10, meaning not tired at all. Productivity, nine out of 10. Mood, eight out of 10. These numbers are high, like we are killing it. Definitely my best day so far. I'm gonna give my overall an eight out of 10. I'm going to bed. Good morning, happy day five. I work again today, but I kind of have like an odd amount of time. It's five now, if you didn't know that. And I work at nine, but I'm going in early to go to the store. It's like, the time is a little bit weird, but I think what I'm gonna do this morning is make like a good breakfast. You'll see. I'm en route to work. I have to go to the store first. The bag burst open. They almost went everywhere. Luckily they did not. That would have been. I'm about to put myself in the worst mood of my life. So I'm going for a run. Today was kind of a weird day because I wasn't actually planning on running at all because of how cold it was. And then I ended up having a random wave of like really high motivation. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And then I, I did. Can I just do my reflection now without writing it? Are we okay with that? I think I'm just gonna do it. So my sleep last night, I honestly don't remember. I think it was fine. Considering I don't remember, I'm gonna go with an eight out of 10. Waking up this morning, seven out of 10. Productivity, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. What else do I usually need? Mood. Seven out of 10. I'll give it a 7. It wasn't that bad. Overall, today was a 6 out of 10. Yeah. And with that, I'm going to bed. Good morning. It's day 6. I work again today, but today's activity is going to be... I don't like that I'm saying activity. I'm going to go do a workout in my basement, except filming that feels weird, so you're only going to see me warming up. Okay, happy end of day six. I'm gonna do my reflection while I'm doing my skincare routine again. Last night's sleep, oh, I need to shake this. Last night's sleep was honestly really good. The alarm went off and I was like, woke me up at a REM sleep, a nine out of 10. What comes next? Waking up, seven out of 10. Mood, nine out of 10. Productivity, also a nine out of 10. Tired feel, also a nine out of 10. Today's overall, I'm gonna give a nine out of 10. But that's like the best one yet, I think. I don't know, but I'm going to bed, so good night. Good morning, it's day seven. The last day, we made it. <sighs> It's 5 a.m. If you couldn't guess. I have my laptop in a book, so I'm gonna edit and read this morning, but it's supposed to be a really clear morning, so we're gonna go see sunrise. Whoa. I made it. It is the end of day seven, a full week of waking up at 5 a.m. And it's time to do my final ratings. So, last night's sleep, um, it was honestly pretty good. Pretty, I slept like pretty deep again, but it was easier to get up this morning. Um, so I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Waking up, like I said, was pretty easy. I'll give it a nine out of 10 as well. Productivity, I got a lot done today. So productivity is gonna be a 10 out of 10. Tired's also gonna be a 10 out of 10, meaning I wasn't that tired at all today. I don't even know if that's all of them, but overall, day seven is a 10 out of 10. I know I may not have made this seem fun at certain points, but I actually highly recommend doing it. I have felt great while doing it. And something I'm thinking is when I go to school, I'm gonna start getting up early consistently because it just feels better. Anyways. That is all. I'm kind of sad this is ending. It's been such like a big part of my week. Duh, but good night.